Hello again, it's the High Ram Show coming to you from Southwest Ohio, and this is show number 126, which will be the very last show of this season before we go on summer vacation. We'll talk more about that uh, at the end of the show. The High Ram Show was fathered and mothered by Time Station 41 in Oxford, Ohio, and 42 in Blanchester, Ohio. These are great time stations, and today's show. We're going to go to Time Station 42 as the Ram community continues to move through. We'll see some teams. We'll see some solo riders. We'll see some staff. We just collected a lot of material there in what is going to become the pink Time Station. And you'll hear more about the pink Time Station and actually see it. I just want to say a word of thank you to my good friend Chuck Stiver. He drove for me, he handled the camera, he did a lot of other things. As many of you know, I was in the hospital over the previous weekend before this, and I was still in recovery mode, and I would not have been able to do my usual recovery of these time stations during the race had it not been for Chuck. Thanks a lot, Chuck. You mean a lot to me. And I know that a number of you spoke your appreciation to him. We'll say a little more about uh, the future of the show at the end. But for now, let's just get right on with Time Station 42. And what's your name again? Uh, John Rose. John Rose. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Where are you from, John? Minnesota. Minnesota. Yes, sir. So the majority of the team is from Hawaii. Uh, I'm originally from Minnesota. I live in Hawaii now. So oh, okay. The majority of the team came out from Hawaii to do this. So why, why on earth would anybody from Minnesota w- want to live in Hawaii? Yeah, I know. It's a tough, tough uh, change. So no, I'm in the Marine Corps, and the Marine Corps sent me out there. That's where you're at, isn't it? It is. Yep. So <laughs> okay. You can't complain too much. Duty calls, you know. Someone's got to fill it. So you're still active. Yes, sir. Okay. And and what uh, what's your uh, rank? I'm a captain. Captain. Okay. Yes, sir. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. What's your name? Summer. Summer? Where are you from, Summer? Originally Louisiana, but I live in Hawaii. And what's your uh, what's your role on the... Uh, massage therapist and support crew. Okay. I was a Marine, too, so I wanted to come out and support these was, guys. Was, so you're... Well, I mean, I still am. Still am. But not okay. active. What's your name? Malia. <laughs> and where are you from? I'm from Hawaii. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm out here on the support crew driving the uh, leapfrog van. Okay, very good. Yeah. Good job. Okay, and your name is? John Bandy. Where are you from, John? I'm from Southern Maryland, a place called Lexington Park, Maryland, right outside of NAS Patuxent River. Okay, very good. Well, that was a smooth transition. Oh, thank you. But we've been trying to practice that. In other, in other words, Sometimes we've been racing teams, so we got T420 and T404. It seems like we keep crisscrossing each other. Yeah. So yeah. as long as we can keep our momentum going, yeah, that's yeah. what we like to do. Okay. Um, so it just makes it easy for us. Alrighty. Good. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Well, you did it upright, didn't you, John? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Not exactly how I planned this ram to go. <laughs> well, you know, we make plans and then life happens. That, that it does, that it does. You know well yourself, don't you? <laughs> well, a lot of you us... You took a little stint in the hospital during ram yourself, didn't you? Yeah, sure did, but, you know, I'm getting better. Um, I saw that video a lot of people have. You're dull. I, I consider you a lucky guy. I do too. There's no Does that scare much. you when you look at it? Uh, not so much because I know how I'm feeling now. But uh, yeah, I mean, I will probably not be riding to work now. But uh, my wife and children and my sister have all asked me not to ride to work. And I, I completely understand that. Uh, but it's not going to keep me from riding on the road. So. Oh, of course not. Of course not. Well, heel quick. And we uh, uh, protect people's life and limb with pink tape. 
Amy, Hi. I want you to take us tour here. Okay. Of all the pink stuff we have. Well, we have pink cowbells, and it has Time Station 40 or Race Across America on one side. And well, I don't have the other ones on here. Then we have a different kind of cowbell. We have pink crates that are full of different things at the time station. Pink bracelets for breast cancer awareness. We have mints. We have pink ribbons. And over here we have breast cancer pins. We have pamphlets and our little pink containers here. My favorite. Oh we yes. We have pink Time Station t-shirts. Great. Great. And then of course we have the pink tablecloths, the pink the pink coolers holding the lit or holding our drinks and we have pink chairs. Let's go over there. have the pink containers that have our drinks in it and we also have pink cups we have sugar container and creamer container with pink and I think that pretty much wraps it up for our pink thank you Ray thank you Ray we miss you we wish you were here and I know you do too You are? Dave Rocco with uh, RRT4G. And um, you are? Mark Poland, also RRT4G. Okay, now I haven't met you before, have That's I? correct. I yeah. just joined uh, just prior to your doing the interview on the show about a month ago. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from uh, Burnsville, North Carolina. Sorry, the brain doesn't work quite Could, so clearly after <laughs> four days of riding. I can un understand that. I got and you're from right, anyway. Florida. No, Dan was, Florida. Dan was from Florida. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, very good. So how's it going for you? It's going well. I mean, we've really pushed through the dry heat in Colorado and Arizona. Uh, it was nice getting the flats in Kansas uh, with a good tailwind. I think we were pushing right around 30 miles an hour, the tailwind, for, uh, for a complete night, which was really good. Um, and then working our way up here with the humidity coming in, we're enjoying the humidity. Uh, and plus, the, the beautiful scenery of Ohio really uh, is a change for us. Um, it's going well. Uh, we're heading towards Pennsylvania, where we know we're going to get some climbing in. Um, we're just looking forward to finishing up. Well, it's actually West Virginia, and I can tell you, okay. you're going to get some climbing yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> you, you've been through there before, haven't you? I have before, um, and I believe Mark has ridden in the area as well. Uh, so we're, we're expecting for some climbing for sure. How's it going for you, Mark? Great. Uh, I wasn't used to that heat at all. I am a climber. I'm from the mountains, so I'm looking forward to uh, the West Virginia and um, those mountains in the Appalachians. But the heat was new to me, and that was tough. You're built like a climber. Yeah, you notice that, huh? You know, him, you know, like Mark, <laughs> there, a trucker once told me that if they would iron West Virginia out, it would be as big as Texas. I believe that. I believe that. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Thank you, Lee. I know I you got other it. things to do. Thank you for being coming back and having a chat. Oh, no. It's a pleasure seeing you, and I uh, appreciate you giving us the time. Good. I appreciate well, it. Well, thank you, you for that. being on the show. That uh, you ha Okay, oh, talk no, to me, Jim. Do it again. What happened? What do you mean, what happened? What happened? You say you're stuck. Was Alamosa, Colorado? Oh my God! My my, my brand new Explorer, two years old, coming down uh, Wolf Creek on this side, and then I get a fault pop up on my sync system saying that my navigation SD card um, has an error or um, is corrupted. I said, okay, fine, that's fine. And then all of a sudden, the whole system flashes on and off numerous numerous times. <clears throat> I said, oh crap. Okay, what now? Then my instrument panel flashes on and off, and then I get 
brake faults and all these different warnings popping up. And I'm like, oh my God. And this is two, three o'clock in the morning. So there ain't squat open. So I find out there's a Ford dealer in uh, um, Alamosa. So I hit them up the first thing, first thing in the morning and they spend all blooming day on there with the manufacturer and everything, trying to figure out where these faults are coming from. No luck. So they said, okay, Ford said, well now, tear apart the steering column start there because I had another issue before I came my telescoping steering column quit working so they put a new one in so I was thinking well maybe that's what the problem is a wire got pinched so they checked that nothing that all looks good so needless to say I'm in the middle of nowhere one rental car company now don't tell people in Alamosa <laughs> you're in the middle of nowhere well okay in the middle of somewhere then <laughs> um, one rental car has no rental vehicles, so the closest one is Trinidad. $177 shuttle fee to get there for their last car in the neighborhood. So I get that car, and then we're going along. It's a little Nissan Versa, made for a midget or somebody real small. Um, so I get, get into Cincinnati, uh, Indiana, yeah, and early this morning, I pick up a, a, a big old bolt in the rear tire. So now I'm down again. So thank goodness there was another Hertz rent-a-car there, and they swapped me out for another car. So three times a charm. So. <laughs> when, well, of course, when we, we first heard Here about it. Shauna, by the way. Okay. Uh, Get back to you. Yeah. And there comes Shauna Hogan, six-time winner of the race across America, and she's. Headed for the seventh. Go, Shada. Go, go. Well, now, when I first heard it, I said, well, it's, his electronics was doing it, but that wasn't it, was it? Well, it was, but it wasn't. We don't know which electronic it is because now they have to go through the whole blooming wirings harness of the car to try to find it. So hopefully, knock on wood, this time next week when I go back through to pick it up, it's done like they said it would be done. Wow. Well, and, and we didn't uh, introduce you here. Jim Harms, Director of Officials. Yep. From Arizona, but you're from... Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, yeah. yeah the, the best place in Arizona. It is, okay. <laughs> so, um, well, well, it's good to see you, and good to see you're, you're moving, sort of. Uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. I'm not as cramped now, so that's a good thing. It got you a little bigger vehicle. Yes, much bigger, so it's, it's nicer. Well, uh, on your pictures, I saw this nice layout in the back of your van. I thought, you know, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that, that was my rolling office slash hotel slash restaurant for the uh, entire three weeks I'm on the road here. Yeah, well, they, they, you know, somebody said they designed those vans for Ram. Well, this is actually Ford Explorer. I know, but so oh, it's, a, it's not a, it's an Explorer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's not necessarily a van van. So it's an SUV. Okay. Well, uh, good luck. Thanks, Lee. Great seeing you as always, brother. <laughs> you always say ride your race. It's always yeah, always ride your own race. It's always. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, good. Luck. Hey guys. They don't do all the work. <laughs> We're just along for the ride. <laughs> Shana Hogan, who has won the race across America six times, and she is on her way to number seven. I think she's going to make it, too. Don't you think so? Yes, you do. And you are? Ian Hoffman. Where are you from, Ian? Washington State. And you're an official with the race across America? Yes, sir. Are you regional or national? I'm going the whole way. 
Drove, oh. drove down to Annapolis from home, or drove down Oceanside, out to Annapolis, and then I got a road trip all the way home. Well, I and you have your Utila killed off. Yep. I have one of those at home. Why didn't I wear it today? That's a good question. It's, it's the way to hang out. It's the way to travel. You need to. Okay, good luck. I know all you right. got to get on your way. Yep, got to roll. Yeah. Thanks. Jeff? Uh, yeah, yeah, little by little. A little disappointed to be where I'm at, but uh, the conditions have been a little bit more difficult than they were in 2011 for me, so uh, my uh, headwinds where I didn't expect them. Yeah, we were talking here, everything seems to be moving slow this year, and we weren't quite sure where all the issues were. Well, the first thing is, from my perspective at least, it was uh, every day it's been at least 90 to 95 degrees, yeah. at least. Thank you very much. Um, and so, uh, whether you know, usually you're, you expect that out in the desert, but uh, Flagstaff was 90 degrees the day we came through there, and to be at that altitude and have that type of temperature, just dehydration, came in really quickly. Um, also, they added uh, 68 miles. Yeah, to the first they had part to go with that bypass. Yep. Instead of going through Sedona, they went up to Camp Verde and around through Happy Jack. So a little bit of a different route into Flagstaff, and that added 68 miles and was quite. As tough of a climb as it, as they have, I mean, it, I think it's it was more difficult than Wolf Creek's Pass, actually. Yeah. So, um, moving right along. Yep. Yep. Little by little, I mean, the the odds are against me being an official finisher this year, based on the amount of distance I have to go in the time, and uh, and the wind direction. I see it's coming out of the northeast a little bit right now. So, uh, but that's all right. We'll get we'll get there. We'll keep plugging away, and you never know what happens, what changes, and and maybe we climb well in West Virginia and go that way. Good to see you again, Jeff. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Please. What's your name? Uh, Darren. Where are you from? Uh, from the UK, in Wales in the UK. You're Welsh. I am indeed Welsh, yes, that's right. Well, I'm Celtic. Well, that's good. Great stuff. <laughs> awesome. So two counts together in, uh, in America. Uh, a little bit further north. Ah, uh, right. Where, where, where about? Uh, my folks come from the borders in Scotland. Ah, right. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, we got we got a lot in common then, haven't we? So, uh, except uh, that we're out in uh, in America, boiling hot. A bit, <laughs> a bit different to the UK, I can tell you. Yes. Uh, never quite gets warm for us in Scotland. No, no, no. Definitely <laughs> not in Scotland. That's for sure. So. Okay, so you're with uh, what team? Team Endeavour. Team Endeavour Endeavor. Endeavor 806. Um, we're British military. Uh, we're all serving military members in the army in the in the UK. So um, we're raising money for uh, wounded veterans and their families um, who are in times of poverty and crisis. Very good. Mm. And um, you, uh, how long are polls you taking? Uh, we're just doing a time session to time session at the moment. Now this, oh, okay. uh, so. Um, we got a 50 miler to do now um, between the four of us um, and then we're having a break the other team takes over for 50 and then we got an 80 so we're just prepping for the 80 miler really now more than anything okay well good luck thank you very much indeed And uh, now I'm okay. Yeah. This morning when we talked, it was a little bit uh, strange. <laughs> <coughs> well, you gave me pause. <laughs> no, it's not actually, you know, that I think it... Because I found your messages and probably on the phone, I hit the phone without knowing that someone was calling. Yeah, or right, and this I understand. Things, and well, I thought and maybe they were carrying it in the car and they'd read it to you, but... <laughs> no, they were not this morning. We had... Uh, um, a very intensive situation for about four or five hours. I couldn't stay awake, so just okay. everybody trying to try to make me awake, but it didn't work out. 
until until you work it out. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, and I'm not going to interrupt you anymore. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, how are you? I am okay. I'm I'm recovering. Okay, very good. So, I wish you all the best. Thanks, Valerio. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for me. Okay, no, okay. thanks for yeah. what you, I wish you do, guys. Yeah, okay. okay. Is that the end of Ram? But that's the end of the Ohio Ram show for this season. With this show, we wind up and we're going to go on summer vacation for a couple of months. But we already have shows recorded and in the can for the beginning of the year in September the 7th. Now, if any of you can't stand to go all summer long without an Ohio Ram show, all you have to do is to go to ohioramshow.com. All the 126 shows are archived there, and you can uh, go through them and enjoy the show all summer long. But come September, we'll be back with a whole bunch of new shows, and we're looking forward to seeing you. Thank you for those of you who support the show, what you do for us, particularly on social media, those who like and share. You make the show better known. And the great value of that isn't that the show be better known, but the wonderful sport of ultra cycling be better known. It would be remiss of me if I didn't thank all of you who sent so many good wishes while I was in the hospital. At the worst possible time, can you imagine going into the hospital just as, as Ram was really getting wound up good and ready to enter Ohio? Well, that's what happened, and I was able to get out. Also want to say a good word as we close down for all the time stations along the way who are staffed. These people work long hours. Many go for hours, even days without sleep. They are also exhausted and sleep deprived. They do such a wonderful job. They're all independent. Every time station is different. Our two time stations here in Southwest Ohio, 41 at Oxford, Ohio, and 42 at Blanchester, Ohio. They're both independent. They're both different. But every t station does a great job, and we appreciate them so much. Now, maybe you are attracted to go find a time station next year yourself and spend some time there, get acquainted. Or maybe even better, if you live close to the route, you might think about trying to start a staff time station near you. There's plenty of opportunities. You say, how do you do it? Well, uh, it's not that hard. And if you're interested, and want some help, just send me a message uh, through the OhioRamShow.com website and I'll put you in touch with people who know how to do this. That's about the story here at the Ohio Ram Show for now. Be sure to visit the website, OhioRamShow.com. We wish all of you a great summer. Those of you who will be racing this summer, we wish you great success, particularly a safe success. And with that, we're going to say... Goodbye.